Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very special episode of CSK News. We're going to try and do all the news today in just one take. One just long video. Hope you guys all enjoy it. Probably should only be a few minute video though. Probably going to be pretty freaky fast. As many of you guys know, I talk way too fast in these episodes. Hope you guys all enjoy today's episode though. And all today's stories will be time marked down below. But first off, I do want to talk about Team Immortals. Very simply here, very simply put, we have 48 hours ago, of course, KNG apparently leaving that organization. According to his own words, he is out that roster. We're not sure if that's actually fully true as of right now, but apparently KNG has already left. And coincidentally, just last night, we also had Hen One and Lucas One, the brothers, also formally request to leave that roster. Now, by request, they are still under contract, so Immortals actually could keep them on the bench for quite some time, and they probably couldn't force them to play, but of course, that would cost them an ungodly amount of money. So as of right now, it does seem, unfortunately enough, I feel so bad for these guys, Steel and Bolts will be left on the Immortals roster, and yes, they'll be left with no team, as well as that, with the new major rules applying, they actually will be left without a major spot as well. That means three of the five members, KNG, Hen One, Lucas One, the most likely situation is those three guys will actually leave Immortals and get picked up by some other team or some other organization and that new organization for them will actually retain their legendary spot leaving Steel and Bolts teamless and of course without any future team they can't really play any near events as well they've already pulled out of the epicenter qualifiers who knows what else they'll actually be missing because their roster is not fulfilled and they have a bunch of players who are currently allegedly benched as of right now and we're not sure who's actually out of the organization and who is still in the organization so yes I gotta feel bad for these guys they, they've really stayed away from conflict they've been loyal Immortals players they've actually showed up to play the events and now they get kind of screwed over here. If this actually does happen, you got to say it's one of the scummiest things players have done in the past. If Hen1 and Lucas1 and KNG screw Steel and Bolts over and actually retain that spot, I'm not sure the player writes if they can actually give that spot back to Immortals, but unlikely for that to happen. Of course, with this kind of internal conflict, if you guys are really butting heads and you're going to leave the organization, of course you're not going to be nice about it and say, hey, we're going to leave the team, but you guys can keep the major spot. That's probably worth, you know, $150,000 at the very least. So you guys can keep that. Probably not going to happen. Now, on top of this as well, you have to look at Immortals in the past few weeks they've been doing kind of well especially with this internal conflict going on you look back at the major they play second there of course in recent weeks dreamhack montreal they also play second there after forfeiting map one to north in the finals there you have to really say even with this internal conflict this was a team who could easily have taken the number one brazilian spot from sk gaming who's been certainly slacking these past few weeks going to quarterfinal events getting knocked out quite frequently of course they they're still a definitely a dominant brazilian team but immortals look at they had they had so much potential for them and they could have taken that number one brazilian spot quite easily if this had never happened but of course it did and you can't go back to the past so very unfortunate news for Immortals guys we're going to see how it unwraps and unravels in the future here and what actually happens to Steel and Bolts and if Ken 1 and Lucas 1 and KNG do leave if they will join up with people like FNX and of course anyone in the Brazilian scene would love to join those guys as their fifth member now on top of that we do have Operation Hydra ending jokes on you guys. It's actually not going to end. It's going to be extended for the first time ever. An operation will be extended and it will now be officially our longest operation ever. It should extend to around 170 days plus. Now this could make sense because of course many of you are aware that the new Chinese beta went out of beta into actual live games. So we have an influx of new Chinese players who can now buy this operation pass at a discounted price for $2.99 or 50% off. And yes, I myself have actually invested into a few of them. Of course I really want to warn you guys before you try and invest in these. In the past we've had operation passes skyrocket in price like the Vanguard pass other passes out there uh, I'll show you guys on screen a few screenshots of that but of course with this new knowledge everyone has the investments probably not going to be near as good of course I think it will go above 299 but will go to an extreme price probably not anytime sooner probably not ever as well so if you guys want to invest in that please be careful doing that on top of that though and more I guess unhyped news because we've had this happen so many times in the past now for the 18th or 19th time it's really crazy to say that we have Mike Lilly forming a brand new team but this time I wish there was more hype around this because this roster actually has some potential if you take away their past Swedish roster at Red Reserve and then Michael Lilly's makeshift team before that as well, you take away those kind of unhyped events. This team actually has very, very good potential. We have former Godset member and owner, that's Pronax, alongside former NIP member Pith. And it could be Barbar Bar from Epsilon as well as a former Epsilon, Stan and Cali. Their roster on screen for all of you is a potential new Swedish roster, which Mike Lilly's new team could be. And it actually has some great potential for it. I'm looking forward to seeing these guys play, but it does mean the downfall of Epsilon. Now, what I mean by this is actually coincidentally we had Epsilon bench smooth. Allegedly, according to him, of course, the UK pride of the scene right there, of him being signed to a tier two or a higher tier team than most UK players go for, he's actually been potentially benched because of a language barrier. He does not speak Swedish, and they're trying to go for an all Swedish roster. But coincidentally, this morning, we actually had Barbar Bar leave Epsilon this morning, and that makes now the third member of Epsilon to leave that team within the last six months to a higher tier roster, potentially. Of course, who knows how high tier Michael Lee's team will be. They lost Resin, Drake, and NIP. Now they lose Barbar Bar as well. It seems they were the ultimate build team for the Swedish roster, though. The Swedish 
just seen, and they have become that, and now they're down to less than two members with Smuya being benched, and that roster is probably going to begin a complete new form. Who knows who they're going to pick up as of right now, but it does seem Mike Lilly, with Barbar -Bar leaving Epsilon, that roster is almost set in place. It will be Mike Lilly, Pronax, Pith, Barbar, -Bar, and Kali, and that could be a new Ultimate Swedish roster. Do I see a lot of potential for it? Probably not, but we'll see where they go, guys, and Epsilon, as of right now, is pretty much dead. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed the Freaky Frass, Freaky, Freaky... Frick. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Freaky Fast episode. If you guys did, please leave a like or comment down below. I'm going to edit this, get it out. And by the way, for all you guys who liked the earlier video this week where I said if I broke 1,000 likes and I'd, I'd actually wax my thighs, I should be doing that either tonight or tomorrow on live stream. I'll let you guys know on Twitter. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in a couple days with some more CSGO news. I'm going to go back to editing. And uh, as always, live, love, laugh, love. My name is Jake, my right like you. I'm also unsponsored, so I'm not being paid. <laughs> I really...